Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2020 video. Now, for those of you who are not aware, last weekend around this time, I was actually in Collinsville uh, to compete at the Collinsville Regional Championships, and I ran a pretty interesting team, and I've act you guys have seen like bits and pieces of this team on live streams from time to time, and if you know me uh, from my locals, then you've seen me running this team a lot, and the team has carried me to a few top cuts, so I felt relatively confident going into Collinsville with it. Uh, and I just want to break it down for you guys today, and I might have a couple of clips of me uh, using it to splice into this video to show some examples of things. However, uh, Series 2 is over, and this is a Series 2 team. Unfortunately, because I was using this team at Collinsville the day before Series 2 ended, I no longer consider this team 100% viable. However, it is a very fun team to use and has a few neat tricks that you can pull off. So... Uh, I'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, all the examples are probably going to be me in the battle tower because I can't actually effectively use this in the ladder anymore. But I, I will provide a rental for you guys if you want to use it because it is a very fun team and I do intend on adapting it for Series 3 to see if it can work out. But if you enjoyed this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. And let's go ahead and get into it. Also answer the common question of the day, which is, what do you think of this team? Do you think it is really cool do you find it kind of lame or you just do you just enjoy that there's a thievel in my team builder right now because i'll be honest guys that's my favorite part i just love thievel so much so there were three versions of the team i know a lot of people will um go through many more versions but i only preserved three versions i did actually start off with a very different team with thievel and dd and the team builder um but i just kept editing that exact team instead of making versions of it so i could keep track of the evolution of the team so we'll start off with version one. As you can see, I'm just running max HP, four special defense, max speed, uh, Psychic Seed Thievil. Uh, I'm running Choice Scarf and Didi, uh, Expert Belt Gyarados, Guadberry Arcanine, a Life Orb Duraludon, and Whimsicott. Now, Duraludon is one of the things that will actually change quite a bit um, as I <laughs> as I go through this team, um, but. You'll understand like why I end up pulling off the build that I do. It's it's very interesting what I ended up doing with it. So overall, this team did see a decent amount of success on the ladder. I did win a few uh, practice tournaments on the showdown room, uh, but I, overall, I, I found that the team was struggling against a couple of things, and mostly it struggled against opposing Duraldon, which can honestly chew through this team if I don't have the Evil and Didi in the lead, and uh, it struggled against Durant. Now, I, I know you guys want more information about how the team functions, but uh, I'll go ahead and I'll get into it once we reach the final version of the team. I feel like uh, people are like, what do, you, what do you do, Marcos? Tell me tell me what the Thievil does. Tell me what the Thievil does. But uh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that eventually. Uh, now, version two of the team, I did adjust one particular thing, and that was the Duraldon spread. And this is actually a very interesting Duraldon spread. Uh, you might look at me like, what is that, Marcos? Why are you running modest, nearly max special defense? And the reason is uh, because I wanted to fix the Duraldon matchup, but I wanted a spread that would allow me to run Protect on this team because I don't have very many Protect users if I run an Assault Vest because, you know, I want to be able to live Duraldon hits, but uh, with an Assault Vest, I wouldn't be able to run Protect, which would mean I have two Protect Pokemon in total because Thievil doesn't run Protect, and Didi doesn't run Protect, and... Uh, <laughs> Gyarados and Arcanine are the only ones that can viably run Protect. I have seen Protect Whimsicott pick up in usage, but uh, overall, um, like I, I just didn't feel like <laughs> I didn't feel like using that. I, I, Taunt is really cool, right? Taunt is very very important to stopping Trick Room with this team, and I just didn't want to give that up. But yeah, uh, I could also have given up Energy Ball, I guess, for Protect. But I don't like the Gastrodon matchup, especially if Gyarados goes down, because I'm left with three spec or no four special attackers and an Arcanine, which wouldn't be able to do much. But yeah, that was version two of the team. Uh, it still struggled against Durant, so I had to find a way to fix it. Of course, Arcanine with Flare Blitz could one-shot a Durant. Uh, however, a Max Rockfall still does significant amounts of damage, and I didn't want to uh, play so defensively. But that's uh, what I ended up fixing in the final version of the team, which is going to be this one. And this is the final version of the team. I'll go ahead and break it down Pokemon by Pokemon and explain what they do now. So, we have Thievil with the Psychic Seed, Unburden, Snarl, Foul Play, Howl, Fake Tears, Max HP, 4 Special Defense, uh, and Timid Max Speed. 
Timid Thievil is disgustingly fast with Unburden uh, when the Psychic Seed goes away. Snarl grants me so much longevity against teams like uh, Gigantamax Charizard, against Duraldon teams, uh, against Rain sometimes, because, you know, you still see Rain once in a while for some reason. Uh, and it's just such a powerful tool, being able to deny my opponent their special attack, uh, their special attack stat from knocking out pretty much everything on my team. Uh, it even allows Gyarados to take things like, <laughs> like Max uh, Lightning from opposing Duraldon at minus one, because Gyarados has good special defense. I don't know why they would give this thing 95 HP, 100 special defense. This thing doesn't look like it's meant to take special hits. Like physically, I felt like if I punched a Gyarados in the face, it just wouldn't even flinch. But uh, apparently, that's that's not at all what what would happen. It would flinch just a bit, uh, especially to a Rock Slide. So, yeah, Thievil disgustingly bulky as well. Um, let me actually pull up a calculation here. My Thievil is. The funny thing is, the Thievil... Actually, I'll get to the Thievil Calc in a second, because I don't want to lose that. Um, but <laughs> Thievil, it can t it can take a lot of hits. Uh, I never actually calc for this thing to do anything in particular, but with 70 HP maxed out... Uh, or Yeah, with the 70 HP stat maxed out, and 4 Special Defense boosted by the Psychic Seed, on top of that base 92, like it's eating hits, especially after a Snarl. Uh, this thing has a chance to get 3-shot by Gigantamax uh, Charizard, and... I, I have not dropped a single set. I have not dropped a single set versus Whimsicott Charizard teams. Like, this team is a hard counter to Whimsicott Charizard. It's very hard to lose against that. And the reason being is you can always lead off in Didi and Thievil. And uh, Thievil will be able to spam Snarl while Didi goes for Psychics onto either the Whimsicott to just get the KO after the Snarl. Uh, or onto the Charizard to just put on some offensive pressure, make them feel like they need a max guard, get rid of the Thievil or something. Um, and... Like, the opponents, like, they're just so helpless if they're special attacking on the lead, because Thievil doesn't die. It straight up doesn't die. Um, and you're able to combo with Fake Tears into a Choice Scarf Psychic to throw off a lot of people. Uh, what was it? Uh, Psychic, after a Fake Tears, can have the, it has the potential to one-shot a non-Dynamaxed, uh, faster Togekiss, which is actually super huge because they usually want to follow me away a couple of hits. On top of that, having the option of Hyper Voice to hit both Pokemon in the lead, especially if there's a follow me user, that's that's so big. That's so, so big. Mystical Fire is purely there uh, to deal with Durant if, in case I end up in a situation where I have a Tailwind up and my Arcanine is gone. Uh, it helps me out so much versus that. Uh, occasionally, I actually will use Mystical Fire against uh, the Duraldon lead to completely neuter their lead because Duraldon Whimsicott typically wants to uh, Dynamax turn one. And because I'm able to snarl into them immediately, lowering their special attacks to the point where they don't KO either of my Pokemon with a max move, and I outspeed them with my Ndidi, I get a Mystical Fire off, bringing them down to uh, minus two special attack, and then they just have to take. They, they just have to take it pretty much like they just have to sit there because their Dynamax is on the field They've already thrown away their Dynamax and it just leaves them in such a position to get like swept by everything else on the team And it's so much fun. I love this team with all my heart. This is one of my favorite teams I've ever played uh, I also have Howl now Howl on this Thievil is so cool They buffed Howl this generation which, uh, before it was just, okay, I'm gonna raise my own attack by one stage, it was essentially just inverse of Growl and on yourself. Completely useless move for most Pokemon. But, Thievil, being so, so fast, is able to get a Howl off, uh, to boost things like, uh, well, literally just Gyarados on this team. Before it was Arcanine and Gyarados, but on this version of the team, Arcanine Special. Uh, but it boosts Gyarados attack. So what happens is uh, they see the Thievil and Ndidi, and they're like, okay, what's putting out damage? Not Thievil, Ndidi. And Ndidi, because it's not as bulky as Thievil, it inevitably goes down first. And that allows you to do this maneuver, which is one of my favorite things to pull off. You get the Gyarados in for free as soon as Ndidi goes down, and then you get a Howl off as you Dynamax Max Airstream. And because you're Moxie Gyarados with the Expert Belt, most things will drop to plus one Max Airstream. And that will grant you plus one in your speed because you got the Max Airstream off, and plus two in your attack because it's the Moxie boost, shout out to myself, plus the Howl. And from there, you can just keep howling. Like, it, it's your choice if you want to keep howling, if you want to go for a snarl or whatever. And it's so much fun. Uh, something I forgot to mention, too. Foul play one-shots Dragapult as long as it's not bulky, which uh, they're not too common. Sometimes you see them, but uh, foul play is still really, really important. Uh, you're, also be you're also able to get off some pretty important damage on Durant. Uh, I've seen this thing do ridiculous amounts of damage to that thing. 
but yeah, like, oh, God, Thievul and Didi, such a powerful lead. Uh, and what's funny is uh, when I actually created this team, I I went into the uh, Facebook group for Chicago VGC and I said, guys, I think I found the sauce. And they go, oh yeah, Thievul and Didi, uh, like a day ago, two Japanese players released some QR teams for that or some rental teams for that. And I go, what? Are you serious? The Japanese beat me to the punch, but um, they were using female in Didi, which I think is a bad take because male in Didi does so much, so much for the team, especially with that speed. Magic Room, I haven't covered that yet. Magic Room does one really fun thing. Um, Ma Magic Room is basically something I just slapped on there because what else would I put? Uh, I can't use Fake Out. I could try maybe Psy Shock, Shadow Ball, but there wasn't really room for the team on that. I actually found that Magic Room was really important versus two particular teams, and that was the now rare, it's nearly extinct, Hatterene and Didi lead, and versus Togekiss, because what I can do is I can remove not only my Choice Scarf to allow me to pick different moves, um, but I can also set up Magic Room to remove their berries, and that's so important versus the Hatterene and Didi lead, because Stalwart Duraludon. I can Dynamax and go for a max steel spike coming off of a flash cannon into the Hatterene since I ignore the redirection, and because they lose their Babiri Berry, I completely deny them Trick Room for the rest of the game, and that's so much fun to do. I've only done it like three times, but just that situational, oh hey, I have the move for this specific situation I'm in, it, it's it's so cool. Uh, besides that, Ndidi, typically if I'm not leading off Thievul Ndidi, Ndidi will find its way to the back of my party and I can use it as an endgame sweeper with Psychic or Hyper Voice. It's really good for Conkeldur because this team has a pretty rough matchup versus Conkeldur. I only have Gyarados and Indeedee to deal with it. Whims got to an extent, but they've been carrying Poison Jab more often than not now. Uh, but yeah, like <sighs> Choice Scarf Indeedee, so cool. Um, and shout out to Upsmash VGC. He gave me a shiny Indeedee, which I will try to include into the QR. I have to like train it tonight uh, and get it in there. Uh, but I named it Joe Bomba. Like he was so nice to give me that shiny Indeedee. And I, you're, you're so cool, man. But yeah, next up we have Gyarados. I've already pretty much told you what it does. It takes advantage of Thievil's Howl, but uh, it's one of the most common Dynamax users on this team. It's either Gyarados or Drowdon for the most part, but Gyarados is typically who Dynamax is. Uh, Expert Belt Waterfall uh, turns into Max Geyser. You're able to get off some pretty major damage and set up the rain. Uh, but it, its most important move is, of course, Bounce because it turns into Max Airstream. It's able to get massive damage off versus so many different Pokemon. It's a two-shot on Durant, I believe. Um, and the Expert Belt just get, lets you, like, some Pokemon, they're like, oh yeah, I'm calc to live that. But it's like, no, no, you're not. Not anymore because it's super effective. Like, look at this. 1.2 times damage? That's that's basically a Life Orb. Uh, and I also have Power Whip because, once again, Gastron matchup is kind of rough. And it helps me out in case the sun is up and I want to get some uh, major damage off versus uh, Rhyperior teams. Because Rhyperior Torkoal is devastating and I don't like it because I can beat Torkoal, you know? I can beat Torkoal effectively, but I can't beat Rhyperior with the Ndidi lead. Uh, yeah, Gyarados, super important. Takes advantage of Tailwind, Whimsicott. Just generally really nice for speeding up things like Ndidi, Arcanine, Duraldon. Uh, it is the MVP of the team, arguably. It's like sharing that spot with Thievul. Next up, we have Wikiberry Arcanine with Intimidate. Uh, I'm running max speed, 44 HP, 212 defense. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to uh, take a minus one Excadrill's high horsepower, if, as long as they're jolly. Uh, and I'm able to go for... it. Also, that much defense lets me take uh, minus one max rockfall from... Um, Hustle Durant as long as I Dynamax. Uh, and that's actually really, really important because this Arcanine is the only reason I'm able to beat Durant now. Before it was outplaying them with Mystical Fire and getting them on game two, um, as long as I didn't reveal it game one, but this Arcanine is now my Durant matchup entirely. Basically, the combination of fast Arcanine with Whimsicott uh, beats both of the major Durant leads. If they're leading off Whimsicott Durant, then all you have to do is you go for the Tailwind and you go for the Heat Wave because no investment Timid Heat Wave is actually able to one-shot Dynamax Durant, which is kind of funny. Like, like you doubled your HP and you still die because your special defense is so low. Uh, occasionally you'll run into uh, a bulkier Durant, but they're not that common considering how much they value their speed and attack. Uh, but yeah, that, that typically will one-shot Durant as long as you don't miss, which 90, 90 accuracy, that's not amazing, but um, it, you're usually usually pretty good for the lead and if they lead off with whimsicott durant that means that they lack redirection and the reason i had to do this is because redirection was so hard for the flare blitz arcanine now that's heat wave it doesn't care uh if they lead off with whimsicott durant 
Uh, they don't have the Togekiss, they don't have Redirection. All you have to do is match their Tailwind and go for Max uh, max Flare onto them. You have to Dynamax to live the hit uh, because they are going to be faster than us now. But because we live the hit, we get our Wicked Bear off, we're able to go for this uh, Max Flare and get the one shot. And while it may seem like a waste to Dynamax or support Arcanine, it is important to the matchup because we're essentially trading our Dynamax turn, like our turns of Dynamax, the Pokemon we choose the Dynamax, for their entire Dynamax Pokemon. Durant always loses that lead, um, and it just makes it so, yeah, we may have Dynamaxed one of the least ideal Pokemon on our team, but they no longer have their Dynamax option, so it's worth the sacrifice in my opinion. Will-O-Wisp is just there to lower the damage output of things like Gyarados, uh, Tyranitar, and Excadrill. And uh, the safeguard is actually super important for stopping things like Yawn, because we're max speed. We will outspeed uh, non-choice Scarf Butterfree, we'll outspeed Togekiss, uh, and just a lot of Pokemon that want to spam things like Sleep Powder and Yawn. Duraludon. This is the thing that changed, and uh, it's actually pretty important. So this Duraludon, I had this damage calc up uh, for this specific part of the video. This Duraludon is able to take a modest max special attack non-Life Orb, because Life Orb would have been a bit much, however, if we Snarl, we can take it. A modest max special attack Draco Meteor from opposing Duraludon, and then one-shot them back with our Draco Meteor because we're Life Orb. Now, while we may <laughs> while we may end up trading our Duraludon for their Duraludon, typically I have a Snarl off, which means that they're at minus one, or minus two, usually, because they, you know because Indeedy Thief was amazing, uh, which means that their Draco Meteor is only going to be doing uh, a little over 60% maximum, and then we just get the free KO. So, like, that's so much fun. And uh, I usually have a Fake Tears off with my Thievul, uh, and Fake Tears just allows me to do major damage to things like Whimsicott, uh, well, not Whimsicott, to uh, Togekiss, to Rhyperior, because, oh my god, Rhyperior does not appreciate Fake Tears anything. Here we go. Rhyperior, uh, minus two special defense, and Dynamaxed. Let's Dynamax our boy. And give him Max Steel Spike. That is a one shot. It is so, so cool being able to eat the uh, the Max Quake. And then just one shot them back with Max with Max Steel Spike. It's, it's such a fun thing to do. Um, th this team, if I could describe it in one way, it is fun. This is one of the funnest teams I've ever made. Thunderbolt. Life Orb Thunderbolt, that allows us to uh, one-shot a Gyarados with Max Lightning, because typically, if we were running just standard Duraldon, I'll show you. Duraldon, non-Life Orb, modest Max Special Attack, uh, versus Dynamax Gyarados. Dynamax Gyarados, double HP, and our Max Thunder here. So we have Thunder, and we have Thunderbolt. Max Max. As you can see, Max Thunderbolt doesn't always one-shot Dynamax Gyarados, which is kind of rough. Um, because I'm Life Orb, I'm able to one, <laughs> I'm able to one-shot it uh, with. Oh, here, uh, Max Thunder would guarantee you to one-shot it. By the way, most of the time, uh, and because I'm Life Orb and not like just modest Max Special Attack, uh, it means that I was able to sacrifice those Special Attack EVs to give me more Special Defense and let me one-shot it with Max Lightning. Uh, which is actually super, super cool. Like, the Life Orb makes up for how much I had to spend on the special defense. The 12 speed is just so under Tailwind, I had speed Dragapult, uh, which is really cool. And Whimsicott, it's standard. Focus Sash, Prankster, Tailwind, Moonblast, Energy Ball, Taunt. Uh, Timid, max special attack, 4 HP. I originally was max HP, 4 special attack, uh, or max HP, 4 defense, I think. Uh, but I actually just enjoyed being able to do more damage to a Dynamax Dragapult. And sometimes it made all the difference, and it's not like Whimsicott needed to live more than one hit, which it would have anyways with uh, the Focus Sash. But yeah, this this team was so, so much fun. Uh, typically versus Rain, I would lead off with Drought on Whimsicott or um, Whimsicott Gyarados. And versus Trick Room, I could actually lead off uh, with my Whimsicott and my uh, Gyarados. Uh, because it would allow me to scare the Rhyperior into protecting uh, and taunt the Dusclops, or if it was the Hatterene Indeedee lead, then I would just lead off with my Indeedee, my Duraludon, and just get that one shot. Sun teams, always, always Thievul Indeedee, uh, with Gyarados in the back and Arcanine, or Whimsicott, it was either one. And yeah, like, this team was just so much fun to use, and I'm really excited for you guys to be able to try it out. Um, it's just such a fun team, I love this thing. But yeah. 
If you guys enjoy the team, uh, rental is going to be in the description for you guys to use. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. I had a great time using it. I appreciate every last one of you. I'll try to get some more videos out soon. Uh, have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, wait. Oh, by the way, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Make sure you check out the Discord links in the description. Buy my stickers. They are for sale in the uh, in little panel below the video. I'm, I'm selling stickers now if you want to support the channel. Uh, and also follow me on Twitch. Join the Discord. Do whatever. Make sure you keep up with me. I really appreciate all of you. Turn on the notifications. YouTuber, YouTuber, YouTuber stuff. Whatever we say at the end of the videos. Have a nice night. Love every single one of you. Bye. Bye.